We're constantly presented with luscious images of food for us to slaver over in ads and cookery shows and recipe books as though we're just Pavlov's dogs. But how much of our reaction to images like these are a genuine response to the idea of eating food and how much of it is our brain putting a spin on things? Mark. Well, I mean, you heard the phrase, you eat with your eyes. And actually, there's scientific evidence that we do eat with our eyes, or at least our brains. So, in fact, the colour of food, for instance, doesn't just affect what it looks like. It actually affects what we taste in our mouth. But what about what you eat it from, the glass, in this case, or the spoon? Now, most people eat with a spoon of this material, which That's is stainless, stainless steel. steel. Yeah. I'm going to contrast this with a material that is very unusual to eat your food from, a zinc spoon. Right. And one which you might be used to, Dara, with your ways, but the rest of us aren't, gold. Everything in my okay. house. Everything in my house uh, is made of gold. Now, the, will, uh, will the food taste the same from those three spoons? Well, I would have presumed intuitively, yes, of course it will. Because they're three metals, and who cares, yeah. right? Okay, let's try it. Okay. This is, I'll give you the, give the one I, stainless steel first, because that's, that's the, that's, so we're going to do cream. the control. The control. Useful. This is what you're used to, so you're getting used to this experiment. And that tastes like? Cream. Right. Now, here's the zinc spoon. Yeah, there is. Huh? Yeah, ah. it's a bit metally. Uh -huh. To be honest, that sounds obvious. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's not well. It's different. It's definitely different. Yeah. Yes, and the gold spoon. Gold. Fantastic. That tastes creamier. Yeah. People thought it was just vanity <laughs> when I said I want gold cutlery, but no. Now, now, mm, mm, really, really good. Good cream too. Um, so what, am I taking the metal's effect on the cream, or what am I doing? A bit of both. So I think, so when you taste any metal, or put anything in your mouth, atoms are coming off, they're interacting with your mouth, and you sometimes get this metallic flavour when you get a lot of them coming off. Yeah. And zinc is very reactive. So you get a lot of zinc in your in mouth, and that triggers off this metallic taste. But also we found that zinc made it taste slightly sweeter. I mean, I'll show you the difference between these metals just from a purely chemical point of view. And again, we found that there was good correlation. So here's gold, and this is, a, this is some nitric acid here. So I'm just going to put a glove on because it's a strong acid, and if it splashes onto my hand, it will burn. And I'm even going to put some Wow, you really on. are taking it Yeah, yeah, I'm taking it seriously. And I'm just going to pick it up and put it into the nitric acid. There we go. And I'm going to stir it around a bit. I would say there's very nothing much happening Nothing's there. happening. Here's the stainless steel. Yeah. Now, again, stainless steel, this is, you know, this is, this is what makes it amazing, because stainless steel, or iron, is very common in the Earth. So, because we've created this material that is in, almost as inert as gold, not quite, mm. we've almost recreated a spoon that's as good as gold, but with a very common material. There's, there's going to be a little bit, a little a bit tiny of, bit there, of tiny. reaction. Okay. And here's and the zinc. zinc, the one that I could really taste yeah. the metallic taste of. Okay, put that in. And immediately you're getting ah, okay. a, a very vigorous reaction so, actually, the reactivity of different metals affects how much they interact with your mouth and the food, and therefore the taste. Fantastic. So, um, very, very good. Thank you very, very much, Mark. Well done.